you guys will have to forgive the dirty motors, but this is worth talking about. So iFlight, the maker of the Sing motors. Now these ones here, you know, a lot of people are familiar with. They come with the red in between um, the the recesses of the motor bell housing here, or they come with red like this. Some of their other models come with the camo coating. Sing has done really well in the mid-priced motor range. What you end up getting is a high-end motor for a mid-motor price. Well, Sing has just completely killed, as far as I'm concerned, the, the budget motor market when they released their Sing E-Series. So, E is short for economy. And yeah, I know people are, this is not an unboxing. Nobody gives a crap about the foam. And yes, it comes with, you know, a nylock nut and four screws that anybody with their right mind doesn't use. That's great. There are some minor differences between these that are, that are worth noting. Um, none in regard to the machining. So let's take a look at these. Now, just for reference, let's take a look at these motors here. They're, they're real mid-tier. These are, can be had for $20 a piece. And again, mine the dirt and grime and stuff because these things have just been beat all to hell. Now, when we take a look at the bell here, you're going to notice the curved sides. Um, it's got, you know, the N52 high temp, high strength magnets. Now, it's got a 4 millimeter titanium shaft. Remember that because these come with a four millimeter steel shaft, okay? So there's more weight there. Um, and then they've got that little green, what do you wanna call it, damper? Shock absorber? I don't know how much this thing actually accomplishes, but I'm gonna tell you, and I'm probably anybody who runs these motors will tell you, these things run fantastic. So I don't know if that is truly doing anything, but they're the only motors that I'm aware of other than Flywoo because they actually use the same manufacturer. These guys just resell motors at somebody else's manufacturing. But, yeah. And then if we look at the stator here, you know, you've got your standard poles, your double bearings. These are uh, four millimeter NSK bearings, okay, with a 16 by 16 mounting pattern. And you can see on the base, it's got this, oh, I even know, know what you want to call it on the feet, this cage around the wires just to stop them from going up into uh, the bell when this thing is mounted. Let me get this washer back on here. A little washer that goes between the rubber damper and the bearing. Boop. So you can see it just keeps the wires. So you can see it just keeps the wires from binding on the bell as it's spinning. So this motor 16 by 16 mounting pattern. Now the bell, you're gonna notice what they had to do to get the price down was cut out some of the manufacturing. Now, obviously they changed a few of the materials too, because like I stated, the shaft, they're both four millimeter shafts, but this is a steel shaft. So this is going to weigh more. Now they're using the same N52 high temp, high strength magnet um, magnets here in the bell. You can see there's a lot less material in here. So they're trying to make up for some of that weight, but see the old motors, well, these motors come in at 31.5 grams. These ones come in at 36.6 grams a piece. So five grams heavier per motor, that, that starts to add up quick, but man, I, you just can't ignore what you're getting here. You're getting all the same super clean, super nice manufacturing with the four millimeter NSK bearings. So they didn't, you know, scrimp on the bearings, which a lot of motors do, not to mention any names. Just wanted you guys to be aware that Sing does have an economy motor out here. You are getting all the same benefits, single strand windings, same NSK bearings, um, same stator construction, uh, the bell housing, even though it doesn't have the curved sides, it's still the same material, okay? it's. The bell and the base are made out of aluminum. Now when it comes to motor wires, these come with 160 millimeter length motor wires, 20 gauge. These come with 150 millimeters. So yeah, you're missing one centimeter of material, but God, it's still so much, right? I mean, 
Jeez. So, for $15 or less a piece, you can have a 2207 2450 kV motor, or you can have a 2207 2450 kV motor for anywhere between $15 $20 from a very, very well to do company who's made a great name for themselves, who has an outstanding social media presence, which means that they're easy to get a hold of. So, you guys might want to check these things out. They feel super nice. Just super silky. They're not super notchy. Actually, they're not notchy at all. I mean, obviously you can feel a little bit of notch, but but these motors run so smooth. So, there you have it, guys. If you're looking for motors in the budget motor range, but you want all the premium motor features, get your Singies on. Happy crashing, guys.